about to give all praise to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahusha. <coughs> Excuse my tongue, my mistake. And double honors to the elders and apostles that has taught me well. Even the one that uh, this person is scoffing. Now, I'm not going to sit here, you know, attack you or uh, anything. It's basically to give you more of a warning. Because what she's doing here, you're going to do some, um, you, you're training it towards some uh, dangerous grounds here, if you don't notice. You know, I personally don't know Ari, Aria, you know, Elder Aria. But he is the one, I know you're disrespecting him right now. He is the one that made the sign, the, the 12 tribe sign that you are carrying. Not only that, he the one that taught the elders that taught you. Yeah, excuse that racket in the background. But, you know, I've seen some videos of uh, the elders talking about you, man. Anything, and what came to mind, you know, was basically the scripture of Zephaniah, Zechariah, um, the 13th chapter, all the way down. And <laughs> it basically um, paint what you're doing right now. I think, I don't know if you're doing this, well, you think it's righteous in your mind. Uh, anything, you know, to talk about, the, you know, this person that, you know, I've been new about since back in 2008 when, you know, the elders and apostles told uh, told us who they got taught by. And you disrespecting the elders of your elders. Okay. I don't know what you're doing this for. You think it's righteous for your group? Or are you doing it for attention? Or maybe both. But I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to read the uh, scripture. Zechariah 13 and 1. In the day there should be a foundation open in the house of David. And the inhabitants of Dr uh, Jerusalem for sins and uncleanness. Because that's just what's um, happening right now. Or what is going to happen. Verse 2, and it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, a host that will cut off the name of the idols out of the land, and that shall no more be remembered. And also I will cause the prophets and the unclean spirit to pass out of the land. Yeah, you are an example of those prophets right there. You know, if you, if you don't want to fulfill that scripture, I think you, I advise you to change your ways. And, you know, stop, you know, this this man been out there. I seen the videos years ago. I think 2009 when they, uh, he was out there in the 70s. He was out there teaching. Had the 12 tribe sign. Had the microphone. Like, similar to what you're doing. This is back in the 70s. And this yeah, if it's like, like, for instance, how many people... Have you woken up? The people that you woken up is a drop in the bucket. So how many he woken up? Because he taught the elders that taught me and you. And then the rest of the, mainly every, damn day everybody in that, that <laughs> went under the, the um, you know, the so-called, they like, you know, like vocal, like to say, uh, one westers. You came out of that branch, <laughs> no matter what. You came out. You got that teaching from that, you know, main from that school and other things that came as on uh, the years progressing to the elders on uh, that we have now. But I'm for continue. <laughs> this is what's going to happen to you. And I told a uh, brother here in GMS Chicago about you. I think it was last year. Now the brothers that you got around you is like they're good brothers. Now you, you gonna be it's like you're gonna have a gruesome fate if you leading these men down 
this path that you're going, like disrespecting the people that taught you. It's another scripture that's in Ezekiel too that talks about the rebel in Israel and you actually being one of the rebels of it. I'm fit to go on. And it should come to pass that when any should ye, ye prophesy, then his father and his mother that begated him should say unto him, Thou should not live, for thou speakest lies in the name of the Lord. And his father and his mother that begated him should trust him true when he when he prophesies. Okay, this is what that's the scripture that's gonna ha- it's it's gonna come to pass. It's gonna be a lot of you um, guys out there that think you prophets and shit like that. And it should and it should come to pass in that day that the prophet should be ashamed every one of his visions. When he had prophesied it, neither should they wear a rough garment to deceive. See, that's what you're wearing right now. You know, you got this um this hip hop type of style that you got right now. You know, you got the background and shit like that. I I listen to another brother. You know, I haven't, I be watching the videos, but I haven't locked down this account. I haven't changed to my name, so I forgot. It's a brother from um, Texas. I, I, I know other brother. I've been knowing him for like uh, over 10 years, seen the, seen the videos of him like over 10 years now. And I remember when you was in that camp, too. You was, you was holding the sign, you was reading. That's the two things you was doing. That was um over 10 years ago. You was actually in the GMS camp at one point. Cause that's that's not gonna like what you what you're doing now. It's not gonna fly by in these coming days because there's a lot of shit that's happening. And you know you you um <laughs> disrespect the man that uh, I keep saying it again that taught everybody. That's in this space, you know, that Hebrew is like okay, I U I you know I U I C. Well, yep. That too. Um, UPK is it's it's a lot of um it's a it's a lot of brothers that that came from that that came from um from those elders that taught all the way down to us. And he should say, I am no prophet, I am a husband, and for men taught me to keep cattle from my youth. And one should say unto him, What are thou wounds in thy hands? Then he should answer, Thus with, with, which I was wounded in the house of my friends. So pretty soon your followers that you got, when that time comes, when all hell break loose, they're going to be coming for answers for you. They're going to be coming for a lot of answers from you, man. And if you're not answering those questions, you ain't giving the right answers. Guess what? Most of gonna put the spirit on the, on your followers. They're gonna probably put you to death. Or uh, you might, you know, you might be uh, totally embarrassed in a total fashion. <laughs> and then and then the missus will come. Or should I say judgment? A harsh judgment. I don't know why you're doing this. I don't know why, man. It's like, I know you, me, you, you know, me personally, I'm not part of the GMS anymore. You know, I haven't been a part of the GMS since 2016. And, you know, you might have a, you have a different story than uh, me, but I, I, I advise you not to even talk about the, um, you know, the elders or anything. Just do the work and stop trying to, gain attention and shit because that fame that you got, you know, being on a bracket club and all this shit had gotten over your head, man. You really think <laughs> you the man of the Lord. Well, you actually not, bro. You're not. And this the Old Testament, too, so you need to read this shit. And one should say unto him, well, the wolves in that hand then he should answer, thus what I wish I was wounded in the f- house of my friends. Arise, O sword, against my shepherd and against the man that is my follow, says the Lord of hosts. Smite the shepherd and the sheep should be scattered and I will turn my hand upon the little ones. And that's what's going to happen, man. 
That's always talking about Esau. He gonna come down because you remember back in uh, 2012. I keep up with the news, dude. I don't know if you do it because you just got this persona, just like you just trying to make Israel into some hip hop shit and trying to bring it into that sh- into the um. What you trying to do? Get a record deal, bro? You trying to um sell out to those so-called Jewish people so you can um uh, so you can sign a contract? You got to do what they say. Cause that's what those rappers do. Remember Kanye West? How he talked about those so-called Jews when he said that the real blacks is G- black people is Jews. You can't be Semitic. You can't be anti-Semitic. If you was anti-Semitic, you'd be against yourself. And that's something that Kanye West said, man. And that's in the world of hip-hop that you you really want to be a part of. Okay. Cause I'm starting to really think you, yeah, you are set up, man. You you've been set up. You probably been paid behind the scenes or whatever. And one should say unto him, my bad, sir. Let me see. Let me go on down. And it should come to pass that in all the land, says the Lord. Two parts therein should be cut off and die, but the third should be left therein. So if you doing, you know, you doing this, that sword gonna come down. It's gonna come down on you. Maybe you be saved, man. You might be in the um, wilderness. You might be those rebels that the um, Lord will have to deal with, um, according to Ezekiel. But I can't remember that scripture right now, where you're not gonna be applying to the rules because you don't wanna. Um, you know, you want to uh, be disobedient to the, to the elders that taught you. Like, come on, dude. These people been, you know, I'm not going to lie. You got to give some respect to, even you, if, if you don't know them the elders, you got to give them some damn respect because they've been out there since the fucking 80s and 70s. Okay? I wasn't even, man, they, they was out there when I was like two years old. You got to give them, you got to give them some type of respect. I know you been I'm, you better not you know you talking about um a rock, you know Elder Haran, um not yeah Ariaba saying that um he did this and talking about the guys that comforted but why why don't you talk about King Solomon? Cause that's what I heard, man. It's like you not talking about King Solomon. Cause he went out, he went off completely. <laughs> And and because of that, when he went off, it actually inspired the um, actually inspired Freemasonry. As you look it up, you know it's nothing but witchcraft. We go go back to the drew, but they, uh, that craft got better, progressive through time. I say, and it was mainly by Jake that did that shit. Our people that created that Freemasonry, because they were inspired by the um. King Solomon is really that, and then they progressed it through times, and they just started adopting other shit, and they just, they really did it in secret. Okay? So you go on. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold, and tr- my, uh, my, my bad, and try them as gold is tried. They should call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they should say, the Lord is my power. Cause you got two things, man. Whether you wanna like miss teach teach the word, teach Israel without insulting the I, the elders that taught you. Or you wanna play these games and try to get a record deal and try to sell to this fucking devil. With that, shalom.